All of you who have given yourself to this process of chant and tracing the form in many ways, you are a part of this danda. Now, one important aspect of consecration is to… Uh, this has taken a certain amount of time to prepare, so much of uh, energy work has happened and uh, <laughs> it's uh, reverberating wonderfully well. And uh, in many ways all of you are a part of this. The Naga is sitting here. This Naga is a Kshetrapala. That means he is also the future protector of the Kshetra. When we say a Kshetra, we are building a whole system. A whole system which is both energetic and geographical, that it will become a spiritual possibility in its entirety. Uh, uh, your responsibility to see that uh, the bad press but Naga goes away because now already I see comments in social media saying this is uh, clearly satanic worship. We are from a knowing, we are from a, a deeper perception of life where there is no Saturn for us. Even a venomous creature, if handled properly, becomes a divine possibility. This is where we come from. It's been over eight hundred years since a Naga was consecrated in this way. So all of you being here, being a part of it, it's fantastic.
I would like to acknowledge all the Bengaluru volunteers who worked incessantly <laughs> the last few months to make this happen. And our Bra brahmacharis, our construction team which has done a spectacular job. This is the first step, the next step is the Yogeshwara Linga will come on 15th of January. Of course, the Adiyogi statue will be ready by then and the yoga center which offers all the four dimensions of yoga. Many others who have supported this, those who worked with me in the consecration process. So to every one of them and all of you, fantastic. Let's make this happen in the world, a conscious planet. This is about not about looking up, this is about rising up. Let's make it happen. I was in awe, very charged up. Never experienced Naga in this way. This was an eye opener. Fabulous time.